what's going on guys welcome back to the channel hope you're still on that hero status let's get it last reaction was fire i know you guys really appreciated what i did there you usually do people usually do you know on this channel you guys really do show up and show out when i do really really big super reactions well i figured i ain't got nothing better to do so i might as well go in i had got up that day um with the intention of doing a marathon didn't know i would have gotten all the way to 12 episodes you know i've done this in the past it's not anything new to the channel i have done i have not done i have done a 10 i think a 10 episode reaction i think that was the biggest one before i did this one for 12 so um pretty cool stuff happened during that arc basically completing the arc um i'm guessing that in this episode we're about to watch they're gonna kind of wrap things up a little bit better with a bow you know for us so um but shout out to lamillion man he really showed i think in my opinion, his moment was a little bit more heartfelt than Deku's moment. Um, Deku's moment was full of spectacle, a lot of spectacle. And that's what I, as I said before, I don't want this anime to boil down to moments. There needs to be a story that is building up that I can grab onto. You know what I'm saying? Story is good so far, but it's more... It's so much more character driven. Um, a story got to encompass a lot more than just characters. You get what I'm saying? And following characters, individual journeys or whatever the situation is. You get what I'm saying? It's got to have a lot more to it. It's got to have a lot more lore to it. It's got to have a lot more. You get what I'm saying? Not just about characters like the world or the universe that is a, it, it exists in got to be able to stand on its own if you get my meaning um you know and this is in no way me bashing my hero academia because i'm enjoying this series so much but it's so moment based you get what i'm trying to say like i love what they did in the first season of i think the first season of this anime still stands up to be the best of the series so far you get what i'm saying not to say that the second and third uh, um and current fourth um does not hold up or is not good i'm just saying they're not as good as season one they took their time in season one to explain a lot and then they gave us a really good ending to wrap things up and then we learn more about all might and stuff like that and they're taking their time and building the world don't get me wrong but we got to see why lamillion is considered and i think that should have been his moment i'm not going to lie to you guys i really believe that lamillion really deserved that moment but you know main product main protagonist gotta jump in and do their thing it's kind of like the, the the goku vegeta situation vegeta beats up the guy and then goku gotta come in and finish finish it up if lamillion did not lose his quirk if he if they had just given lamillion that moment legitimately i would have been sitting here right now saying this guy really does deserve to have all um one for all because it makes sense you get what I'm saying? Before it didn't make sense to me. Why do they hold him in such regards? Not only the fact that he can beat up all the freshmen. You get what I'm saying? Like that alone is not going to convince me why they're considering him to be. He got to show me something and he showed it to me only for a brief moment. Why did he have to become the scapegoat? You get what I'm saying? They build him up. And, and it's good storytelling. Don't get me wrong. It is good storytelling. It's a, it's, it was a wise decision, writing-wise, to build up this character to be the one closest to being number one, right? And then, at the same time, just kind of break our heart about the character. Because we, we you know what I'm saying? We became, 
you know, we got, we, we, we fell in love with him. We fell in love with this character and he just broke it down. But I didn't like, they should, he had his moment, don't get me wrong. But, you know, the whole battle with, with Deku, it didn't seem as legit because he had, he had super health, um, not health. Su well, he did have super health and super help. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's see what is going to be the repercussions of this, because if there is no repercussion behind what just happened, then I'm going to have a problem. I really am going to have a problem with this entire thing between, um, what happened between him and this, and this girl, I'm really going to have a problem with it. So, um, let's see how they wrap things up because there needs to be some consequences to this hap to to what he just did you get what i'm saying not not the fight but overall the um the consequences of him being able to to regenerate this fast in a short amount of time with this girl on his back her using her power on him um basically able she's basically able to control um she can reverse time in, 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 in very fast. You get what I'm saying? So basically as he breaks his leg, she's basically reversing, reversing time where he hasn't broke, broke his leg. So let's, let's jump into the episodes. That's just, that's just me. I talked about it in the last review too, where I'm saying that I don't want this. I really don't want this anime to become just a spectacle because if it's just a spectacle you know what i'm saying then you're just not gonna have that that really good story building and it's just about guy people using superpowers i want that lore i want that story just like what they did and revealed a lot to us during the the um all might versus all for one fight a lot was revealed there you know what i'm saying in the midst you know and built the lore a lot more. So let's go watch this episode and see what's going on. Episode 77. I'll see you guys for the review. I'm 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 probably going to put put um anytime we, we're going to have an uh, a fire episode where I've watched and I see that it's a fire episode, it's a fire reaction, I'm gonna try to put it up on YouTube. That's what I'm going to start doing. Because I think I figured out a way where I can put my reactions on YouTube now with um with no monetization um no monetization and it's claimed. So we'll see. We'll see how it was it doesn't matter as long as the reaction is up on YouTube. I've been wanting to find a way and due to the fact that I have all this free time, I figured out something with Attack on Titan. So I'm going to try it on my hero see if it works too. We'll see how things go. All right. So I'll see you guys for the review. All right. What's going on, guys? We back on that hero status, man. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? This reaction really surprised me, especially the, the scenes with Endeavor. That was the most enjoyable for me. Um sad moments of course you know i talked about how this anime needs consequences for me to really put it up there in the upper echelons of shonen animes that i've seen you know what i'm saying um it was lacking in that department you know it was all spectacle and those moments are enjoyable but there you just didn't feel like there was any consequences to anything that was going on it was kind of like okay all Might is at his limit. He's going to give it his all. Blah, blah, blah. Great hero moment. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. There's no consequences. Villains just keep getting close to killing or really doing serious damage. And then hero comes in and saves the day. Like, I'm not watching. Uh, even in comic books back in the day, you had consequences to these heroes, whether it be their actions, whether it be them losing a friend, a hero friend. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, there has to be loss. 
because we're still even though it is a universe where every, pretty much 80% of the population has quirks they still need to understand what what loss is and I'm glad that they did that early on and they don't wait until they become adults to witness that because they're out here fighting you get what I'm saying they're out here fighting yes you can talk about the stain matchup well how stain basically showed them you know what I'm saying that it's real out here but you know what I'm saying but to me the consequences just wasn't it wasn't high enough to the level to me I think death you get what I'm saying? Death is the closest thing that you can say is a very, very, as much as you don't want to want it to happen. If you're watching a TV show, you kind of want it to happen. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't want to see your ca your favorite characters die, but heroes, villains, Good characters, bad characters, they need to be that middle ground where, you know what I'm saying, for the sake of character development, it needs to happen. They need to know that it don't, it's not fun and games out here. You can't just be jumping into battle every time, you know, not... You, you know, getting any any sort of consequences after the fact. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I'm glad that they did that. So, you know, RIP Night High, you know what I'm saying? Characters that I really came to kind of understood is is small time that we got to know him. They developed this character a lot. We got to know a lot about him, his history with All Might and all of that. And I'm in it's a bittersweet um position that I'm in because I'm like as much as I you know, I don't want to see a character like that die. It was good for the show. If I'm supposed to have a critique of the show, which I have to have, right? So it was good for the show. Overall, it was good for the show for, for, for Night Eye to die in the way that he died and the speech he gave before he died. Everything was planned perfectly and I'm glad they did that then another hero died um during the 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 um them taking um overhaul to the hospital and shimura right came and you know i still need you guys if you can if it is revealed later to explain what happened in that scene but it, it, it's just kind of confusing to me how he did it, how they took away his quirk forever. Did he, he didn't use the, the, the thing on him. I'm pretty sure the guy used this quirk to take out a part of his hand. It was just a weird scene. I just didn't get it. Maybe I have to watch it a couple more times to really understand what happened there. But if you guys want to explain it to me, it's not a spoiler. I've already seen the scene, but I'm having a hard time understanding what actually took place and it's really not just seeing what happened to to understand it's really like how did they take away his quirk forever like that's what i want to understand like he decayed his hand so i don't understand if you have the power to dismantle and repair how does this make you lose your quirk like that's what i'm trying to understand you get what i'm saying so if you can explain it, if you can't, it's fine. Um, guess I'll figure it out somehow after I watch it a couple of times. That will be really helpful. First time I'm actually asking you guys to explain something to me, so you you can, <laughs> okay? So just don't go into spoiler territory if it deems so. If it's something that's going to be explained later, um, you know, then you don't need to. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, man, I really love the fact that they went that far in the show, right? You know, I've talked about it before where I said one of the one of the things that I hated about Naruto part one um, so much is that they didn't allow Choji and Neji to pass on in part one. 
You get what I'm trying to say? I get it. They had moments after that. You get what I'm saying? I think at that moment, it still they still could have used that to push Shikamaru forward. Because he would have understood that he did his best to protect his friends. But at the end of the day, they made a decision to stay back and fight while they go forward. You can't blame yourself for that. You did what you needed to do as a team. And now you can see that and become a better leader, make a better decision later. Or maybe say, listen, let's all of us gang up on this one dude because he want to stay back and fight. Let's all of us gang up on him. But in that moment... They had to move on because the other guys, they were still moving. They couldn't allow them to get into, get too far away before they chased them. So somebody had to be after the rest that was carrying Sasuke. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of the, one of the things about part one that I didn't like. And, and I think part one was better than, than Shippuden. So to have that critique, I don't know if anybody has that critique about part one, but that's just me. Um, so they're planning this this school festival which is supposed to like showcase the other classes the general studies the um you know the equipment the you know people classes and you know and all of these other people business class and all of these other people that are at the school to show off what they can do their their quirks because they can't always be in fights so that's going to be dope. Can't wait to see what this festival is going to do. Can't wait to see them sing and play instruments and dance and do all of this cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that All Might is actually taken. I, I actually thought that we would have never seen him train Deku at any point because it's always like a little bit here and there. I want to see him have a full on training with Deku. I want to see that. It's good to have these conversations with him because he helps him to realize things about the quirk that he never knew. So that was pretty cool. But the main thing I want to talk about in this reaction is, um, in this review, I mean, is um, Endeavor. And I said as much as I could say during the reaction. Hope you guys saw that. If you haven't seen it, make sure you didn't fast forward through what I was trying to say. If you're back here listening to this review, man, I really do appreciate it. So I might say some of the things I've already said that Endeavor, I believe he can be the number one hero. I don't see why not. He was number two. Yes, he might not smile and rescue people, but he's got, in my opinion, I told you guys from back in the first time I said, I said, I want to see him get his moment i'm tired of watching anime and the thing about naruto one of the things that i love about naruto so much is that naruto and sasuke got their time to shine you can't really in so many different ways separate them from each other they're one in the same it's like you have two main characters in the story so many anim animes could learn from that you get what I'm saying? And um, Endeavor needs his moment. You get what I'm saying? What we got in the Stain arc was not enough for me. If he's the number two hero, I want to see him be the number two hero. Now he's number one by default, of course, but it's not how he wanted to get there. But now he's asking the real questions like, what is this symbol that everybody keeps calling you? What does it mean to be the symbol? But at the same time, I don't want him to, to walk in the same path to get to there like All Might. It's too freaking repetitive. Not everybody can walk the same um, path to be Superman because you don't have the same powers. Furthermore, you don't have you might not have the same um, kind of drive. So I don't want to see him walk that path. I want him to get there on his own terms. And man, that moment when he was talking to his son, to, to Todoroki, and he told him, I want to become a hero that, I, no, I will, I promise I'll become a hero that you'll be proud of one day. That shit hit me hard, bro. It hit me hard. I couldn't hold back the tears, man. That was a moment for the ages. Because I know he wants to be from the moment I saw when he, when he saw All Might fighting all for one. And he said to him, 
And he said to him, what is this back I'm looking at, this pathetic form? What is this? I've Because basically what he's saying is that I've been chasing you, dude. What is this? From that moment, I knew that there's something about this character that I need to know more about. There's something about him. So I'm hopefully we get to see more of Endeavor, man. Um, because even though he doesn't get a lot of on-screen time, I, he's a really intriguing character. I still believe to this day that his character design is the best in the show in my eyes. So, and it's not just because the man has a fire mustache. Come on, bro. <laughs> the man has fire for mustache, bro. How can you not? How can you not like the character design? Come on, man. He's too fired. Literally. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I love Endeavor's um, character design. Um, I, hopefully we get to know a lot more about him. I'm looking forward to, to to knowing a lot more of him because because he's like an underdog that everybody kind of looked down on because they, they'll see all my... All Might shows up. Everybody is like, well, All Might is here. Awesome. He shows up. They're like, why is he here? The dude is the number one hero. And you're asking, why is he here? Like, shouldn't you be happy just the same that he's here? But I get it. You know, people have had bad experiences with him in the past. And he, he, he he's like Bakugo. In some ways, he's like Bakugo because Bakugo is the type who's not really going to sign autographs. He's not that type of guy. He just wants to be a hero. He don't care about the accolades. He don't care about the, the people who probably believe in him. He don't care about that. He just want to kick ass and take names and put bad guys in jail. That's all he's about. So, you know what I'm saying? Every now and then, you'll see their emotion pour out, but they're not the type who's going to spill it all the time, like All Might, like Izuku, like, you know what I'm saying? They're just not that type. They're just not that type. And you can see it, one and two, All Might, Endeavor, Deku, Bakugo, you know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, man. Hopefully. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, man, it's been real. You guys, make sure you stay on that hero status. Don't become a villain. We out here. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, subscribe if subscribe if you're new. We out here, man. Terabyte out. Peace.